May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. April 4, 2024, Thursday in the Octave of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then, as he held on to Peter and John, all the people ran to them at the portico, which is called Solomon's, in astonishment. But Peter, seeing this, responded to the people, Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us, as if it were by our own strength or power that we caused this men to walk? The God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom you, indeed, handed over and denied before the face of Pilate, when he was giving judgment to release him. Then you denied the Holy and Just One, and petitioned for a murderous man to be given to you. Truly, it was the author of life whom you put to death, whom God raised from the dead, to whom we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you have seen and known, has confirmed his name. And faith through him has given this man complete health in the sight of you all. And now, brothers, I know that you did this through ignorance, just as your leaders also did. But in this way God has fulfilled the things that he announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Therefore repent and be converted, so that your sins may be wiped away. And then, when the time of consolation will have arrived from the presence of the Lord, he will send the one who was foretold to you, Jesus Christ, whom heaven certainly must take up, until the time of the restoration of all things, which God has spoken of by the mouth of his holy prophets, from ages past. Indeed, Moses said, For the Lord your God shall raise up a prophet for you from your brothers, one like me, the same shall you listen to according to everything whatsoever that he shall speak to you. And this shall be, every soul who will not listen to that prophet shall be exterminated from the people. And all the prophets who have spoken, from Samuel and thereafter, have announced these days. You are sons of the prophets and of the testament, which God has appointed for our fathers, saying to Abraham, and by your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. God raised up his son and sent him first to you, to bless you, so that each one may turn himself away from his wickedness. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! O Lord our Lord, how admirable is your name in the whole earth! What is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you visit him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! You have made him a little less than the angels, you have crowned him with glory and honor, and have set him over the works of your hands. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! You have subjected all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, moreover the beasts also of the fields, the birds of the air, and the fishes of the sea, that pass through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth! Sequence Victime Pascoli Lauders Christians, to the Paschal victim offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous, the Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring, the tomb of Christ, who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ my hope is arisen, 
to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. And they explained the things that were done on the way, and how they had recognized him at the breaking of the bread. Then, while they were talking about these things, Jesus stood in their midst, and he said to them, Peace be with you. It is I. Do not be afraid. Yet truly, they were very disturbed and terrified, supposing that they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you disturbed, and why do these thoughts rise up in your hearts? See my hands and feet, that it is I myself. Look and touch. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Then, while they were still in disbelief and in wonder out of joy, he said, Do you have anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of roasted fish and a honeycomb. And when he had eaten these in their sight, taking up what was left, he gave it to them. And he said to them, These are the words that I spoke to you when I was still with you, because all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms about me. Then he opened their mind, so that they might understand the scriptures. And he said to them, For so it is written, and so it was necessary, for the Christ to suffer and to rise up from the dead on the third day, and, in his name, for repentance and the remission of sins to be preached among all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. The Word of the Lord Reflection How can we deepen our understanding of Jesus' teachings and share them effectively with others as witnesses of his resurrection? Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance, for the forgiveness of sins, would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Luke 24 verses 45 to 48 Jesus once again appears to a group of his disciples, and he once again gets straight to the point. He opened their minds, so that they would understand all that the scriptures revealed about him. He helped them to see that his death and resurrection were fulfillments of the teachings of Moses and the prophets. And then Jesus says something new, you are witnesses of these things. As we saw in yesterday's Gospel, it's clear that the disciples did not yet understand why Jesus had to die and then rise again. They were still in shock and traumatized by these events. Therefore, Jesus had to carefully explain to his disciples the meaning of what had just taken place. They needed to understand this on a level that they couldn't comprehend by themselves. They needed Jesus' clear and detailed explanation as well as a special grace by which their minds would be opened to an understanding of these profound mysteries of faith. We are no different than these disciples. It's easy to believe in Jesus for insufficient reasons, which only result in superficial faith. Some believe simply because that's what they were taught when they were young. Some believe because it makes them feel better to believe. Some believe because they don't know of anything better to believe. But then there are those who believe for the right reason. Like the disciples in this resurrection appearance, they have listened to Jesus speak clearly and in detail to them, such as through their study of scripture, the catechism, or other holy sources, and then they were given a special grace from God that opened their minds to an understanding that goes far beyond human rational abilities alone. Are you one of those people? 
If you are, then you have another duty. Not only must you continue to internalize these truths, allowing them to deepen and change your own life completely and totally, but you must also become a witness to these things. When you grow in an authentic knowledge of the faith revealed by our Lord, you must also share it with others. Real faith must be shared. Reflect today upon this powerful resurrection appearance. As you do, ponder whether or not you have allowed our Lord to speak to you in the same way that he did to these disciples and whether or not you have truly internalized all that he has spoken to you and explained to you. If you are among this grouping of people, reflect also upon your duty to be a witness of these truths to others. Jesus wants to appear in his resurrected form to many others, but he especially does this today, through the mediation of his faithful followers, who are now sent forth to be witnesses to Christ and his glorious resurrection. Let us pray. My risen Jesus, you gave your disciples a glorious gift when you opened their minds to your holy truth and taught them many things. Please open my mind also, dear Lord, so that I will comprehend the deep and profound mysteries of faith. Help me to understand who you are, why you had to die, and how to share in the new life of your resurrection. Please also use me as your witness, so that many will come to know you, and share in the new life won by your resurrection. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.